This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas video. Today I'm going to show you how to easily farm Mythos. Let's get to it. Alright, so to do this you are going to need a ship. I'm using a sloop because it's low to the water. I highly recommend using a sloop. A schooner may work, but the lower it is to the water the easier this whole shenanigans is going to be for you. So get yourself a sloop, any old sloop will do, and then you want to mount these ballista turrets two of them one on each side so you don't have to go to a specific side and sometimes the Cyclops is that's what we're going to be farming today would like to go underneath your ship and pop up on the other side so if you have one on both sides it's going to be much easier for you then you need to make a bunch of the ballista ammo put it in an ammo box and put it on your ship you're looking for spear bolt that's what you're going to make and then after that you simply need to find an island where the Cyclops naturally spawns Spawn. Now they do not spawn naturally on my server so I had to force spawn them in. I just want to make that clear to everybody. So it may vary on your server how high level they are, where you're going to find them at and all of that stuff. I just came to an island and spawned a whole bunch of them in so we could kind of replicate how you would go about doing this. So besides your ship setup, you're going to need something that's long range. I prefer the carbine but a flintlock will work just the same. Uh, the carbine is going to give you a little bit further range. You want as much range between you and these things as possible when you aggro them because they are crazy fast. You're going to gain aggro and then you're just going to run for your life. So I'm going to reload here real quick and then uh, we'll hunt one down. All right, so I'm all reloaded and good to go. Also, disclaimer, this may be a bug or an exploit. I'm not 100% sure. Essentially, when you get a headshot with the ballista turret, it does stupid amounts of damage. It's like 22,000. So I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not, but uh, we're, we're making use of it. So you can see I got a bunch of them in here. I'm just going to try to shoot that guy right there and I hit him. So now I'm just going to put the gun away and run for my life. Don't look behind you. Just run and as fast as you can. Try to avoid obstacles. Just keep running because I guarantee you he is on my butt. I've probably got a bunch of them on my butt. Just hightail it for the water as quickly as you can and keep running. I don't, I didn't see him, but I'm sure he's there. He's got it. Yep. There it goes. He just hit me. So that may kill you. Make sure you have a bed. Now, when he's in the water, get below him. So you can see he's in the water. I just, I just ducked down below the water and got below him. And now he may, he may just hang out there on the shore. He may chase me. We want him to get in the water and chase us all the way. If you don't duck down below them, they can still continue to hit you. So that's why I like to get below the water surface and, uh, just do it that way. So now let's go ahead and see if we can get his attention a little bit here. I'm just going to use the pistol and shoot him. If you don't have the um, rifle and you're just using a pistol, you can also use a bow, which is really good for kiting them once you have them in the water if they decide not to chase you. So there we shot him again. That should get his attention and he should start to come over here. Now you want to wait till it gets pretty close. Make sure you get a headshot. Just want to make sure you get that headshot. There you go. That's it. One shot kill. 22,500 every time. Doesn't matter what level they are. Most of these that I spawned in, that was a level 20. Most of them I spawned in were level 80. You can see there I got 78 mythos off that one. Let's do one more here so I can show you. I'll see if I can find one of the level 80s and I'll show you how that goes down. Also, I'll, uh, I won't use the... Uh, rifle will swap over to the bow and the pistol setup here. I'll reload the pistol just in case you don't want to spend the points to, to get the rifle or craft the ammo. I know most people carry the pistols around, so that may be a better option or an option that is more prevalent and easy for people to use. Okay, so we got the pistol loaded. Uh, we have the bow in our slot. Now we're just going to go over here and see if we can find a level 80. I spawned a bunch of level 80s in, so there should be Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I've got one in my sights here. That brown one right there should be the one. So we're gonna swap over to the pistol. And I don't know if I can hit him from here. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, we hit him. He did the he did the roar. So now we're just going to run. And oh crap, we got two. Well, that's fine. We got two, so we're just gonna keep running as fast as we can. And they will gain ground on us extremely fast. We just got to hightail it for the water. Just 
Going to hightail it for the water. Oh my god, he's right on me, he's right on me. Alright, here we go, here we go. And he stunned me. Now I'm just going to try to be unstunned and get underneath the water here. Ooh, so I'm in creative, so I don't know if one hit kills you or not. We'll find out here. I'll test that actually and see. So now that we got him, uh, if they do this like this one's doing here, he's going to drown now. Um, I can't get them to come back up under above the water after they're under the water. So, I mean, you can do that as well. That's a easy way to get them. So as you can see there, is he going to come up this time? Because the I've had two that just refuse to resurface. So let's see if this one resurfaces or not. Let's head over to the boat. If they don't resurface, just wait it out till they die, and then you can farm the, the mythos that way. Okay, this one did resurface, so we're going to go over here and see if we can get him to... Can we get a headshot? Nope. So they will damage your boat, by the way. There you go. So that was a level 80. So you can see how that went down. It's not going to be perfectly smooth for you every time. Yeah, I mean, you're kiting them quite a long way. We got 198 off of that one. You got to kite them a long way. If you don't, um, they're just going to bash you. So let me let me spawn in a bed here, and I'll take one hit. And we'll see if one hit kills you or not, because I have not actually tested that yet. All right, so I got the pistol loaded. I am out of creative. We are going to kite one of these guys. I'll take a hit when we get close to the water. And uh, we'll see how much damage he actually does. So there we go. We've got his attention. We're going to make a run for it. And he is on our butt. Okay, so one hit did not kill me. But he just hit me again. And we need to get below him. So I took two hits from him there. I'm wearing just plain old common hide and I have 242 hit points you can see the the damage that I took there so if you haven't put any points in hit points uh, it's it's probably gonna kill you or almost kill you so you want to do your best not to get hit by those guys so honestly the the carbine rifle is going to work best because it's very long range you need to have the least amount of weight on you as possible so you can run fast and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to it so then we'll just uh, try to shoot this guy, get his attention, reload as he comes over. We'll line up that headshot. I like to wait till they get close, but you also risk them attacking your boat if they get too close. So keep that in mind as well. And you can see if even if you don't get the headshot, you do 750 damage to them per hit. So you can bust them down relatively quickly. But what we're after is that headshot. You not want to play? He does not want to play. All right, so we got his attention. Headshot. There you go. Okay, I, I think I've showed you pretty much everything you need to know there. Make sure you have a long range weapon. Make sure you got the ballista turrets, plenty of ammo on your boat. Make sure you got stuff to repair your boat because it is going to take damage. Although it doesn't take too much, as you can see there. We're not too, too damaged there. But you want to have stuff to repair just in case they hit your ballistas and plenty of ammo. And then you can just farm this stuff as long as they're spawning. You can just continue to kite them and uh, get a decent amount here. Let's see what this one has. Is that the one we haven't got yet? Yeah, 198 off that one. So 552 off of those couples. So really easy way to farm it. Those ballista turrets just do massive amounts of damage and they are probably going to nerf that. Before we wrap up this episode, I just want to give a quick shout out to G Portal for sponsoring this episode. If you're looking for an awesome server host for your own Atlas server, check out G Portal. If you use the link in the description, you will also get a discount on your server. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.